Hey, it's me. And today I'm doing a classic activity here on my channel. Is this a series? Technically, it's just something that I kind of do now and again on my channel. Anyway, I bought a bunch more plain vans to paint on. Now, it is my understanding that these white vans are very popular now because of Squid Games. I've never seen Squid Games. This is not Squid Games. No, that's not what this is about. I'm just painting on white vans because I always paint on white vans. I've been doing it for a long time. Anyway, yes. There are no shoes in here. I've already started and they're over there. I don't even know why I really needed the boxes. They're all empty. I'm gonna be painting on three pairs of shoes today, so I gotta get started. Let's get into it. I've got my shoes here. I'm just gonna rip all of them out of their cozy little packaging, get them out of their little nest, out into the cruel, bright world, hatching. That was supposed to be a hatching noise. <laughs> and just get rid of all those tags. All of these gotta get painted. Normally at this point, I would use this. It's some nice vinyl tape and I would just, you know, tape around the soles and the little elastic areas to protect everything. And nah, 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 nah. it's all very precise. I honestly hate doing it. So I was looking at all these shoes and I'm thinking, no, 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 no. I think I'll just skip that step. So I have three pairs and I was staring at them trying to come up with an idea just staring real hard and as i'm looking they they started to morph and i i saw them not as three pairs of shoes but as a set of six individuals they are six different beings <laughs> I sound like a freak. So they're all together as a group, but they can also stand apart independently. Okay, I got it. Grabbing the first shoe. And here's my paint. Oh, no, I don't want this one. Here's my paint. Gosh, they're beautiful and I can't get over it. I'm thinking this is the color I want first. I'm gonna paint this shoe one solid color. No training wheels, just look at me go. By training wheels, I mean the, the tape that I usually use. I could have just said tape, but for some reason I said training wheels instead. Stupid. Ow. I'm freehanding this and you know what? I actually really like it. I feel so free, a little bit dangerous. I didn't tape up my soul. Oh, that's bad, you know? I'm not a very rebellious person. <laughs> And here's the first shoe done. Actually, far from done. But the base color is done. Which means I'm actually going to move on to the other shoe right now. And for this shoe, I'm going to go with a lovely orange color. I have an idea in my head at this point for these shoes. But I'm just going to start out with the solid colors on all of them. And then I'll move into my brilliant, fantabulous idea. I'm building it up a little bit too much. Lower your expectations before you get disappointed. Orange shoe done. Next. That was clumsy. For this shoe, I'm going to go with a yellow, mustard yellow. That was disgusting. And if you know me at all, you may already know where this is going. We had a red, we had an orange, we have a yellow, and you see? You see where this is going? If you still don't know what I'm talking about, here's the next shoe. It's green. Now, you must know. Red, orange, yellow, green. You still don't get it. I it's a rainbow. So, of course, next comes blue. And, oh, that paint is not fully mixed. Oh, this is satisfying. Lovely. Poof. It's done. Finally, the sixth shoe. What's happening in that paint container? Okay, painting the shoe, done. Wonderful. So now I have this rainbow of shoes. Beautiful, lovely. Ooh, I got the chills. I kind of love the way these look, just in the plain solid colors, but of course I can't just leave it like this. I, I have to be extra, so we're gonna do much more. And hey, we're gonna take a little break because this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspired classes on things like illustration, design, video, freelancing, photography, and more. I've actually been using Skillshare for years at this point. It's completely ad-free and there are always new classes being released. So whether you're a complete beginner or an absolute master or somewhere like in between, yeah, like me, there's always something new to learn. I've taken a lot of classes on Skillshare. The most recent one that I took was called Productivity Masterclass, which I do recommend. I always have 10 million things on 
my to-do list. That's an exaggeration. 10,000, just 10,000. And so I am definitely interested in learning any new tips that I can to become more productive. With a Skillshare course, you get the video lessons along with class projects and hands-on feedback so you can really get involved. The lessons are nice and short and super easy to watch and fit into your schedule. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back to shoe painting. Back to our good old red shoe and my nails, they've changed. I film videos over the span of several days. Sometimes my nails change. I feel the need to point it out every time because if I don't, then everyone in the comments goes all crazy like, did you notice her nail changes? Oh, her nail changes. Did you notice her nail change? Oh, then let's just consider this the universal disclaimer. Sometimes my nails change. I'm bringing in my box of blobs. How do you feel about blobs? Um, well, I hope you love them. I'm going to pick a blob. I'm going to go with this little pink girl. You see her? Of course you see her. I'm going to sketch her out and then just paint her right on the toe of the shoe. I think my favorite shoe designs that I've done in the past are the ones with my characters on them. And since I have so many blob characters, I thought it'd be fun to do a different blob on each of the shoes. Time for the outline. Bloop, bloop. I kept it real simple and bold as far as the style of these. I mean, they're blobs, so they're basic creatures, so they're going to be simple. I was planning on doing some sort of detailing on the back of the shoe as well, but I don't know. I actually really loved how this looks just like with the clean color. It's so nice and I fell in love with it. Onto the orange shoe. Also, I will point out, you can still see the Vans logo ghosting there. Um, I did paint another coat to cover that entirely. Okay, just in case that bothered you because it was bothering me. What blob should we choose for this one? I'm going for a monochromatic thing for each shoe. So I wanted to find an orange blob. We have the nerd blob. I don't know if I'm committed enough to him. This dizzy blob, definitely not. Little flower crown girl. Ah. Oh, and how about this starry wonder blob? Okay, yes. So here we go, painting the starry wonder blob. What is that name? Starry wonder. I was a little bit worried about his arms because they kind of looked more like saggy boobs. <laughs> But then when I outlined it, it helped that. I think it looks fine in the end, but I was worried for a second. Also, what is he wondering about? I wonder what he wonders. I feel like I make characters with this face whenever there's stars or galaxies involved. I don't know why. Maybe I should stop. Next, it's yellow. And I've been trying to choose some blobs that get less attention, but I just could not resist choosing the angry lemon for the yellow shoe. I made the shoe a mustard color because I wanted all the shoes to be a darker version of the same color that the blob would be. So the red shoe, pink blob, dark orange shoe, light orange blob. That way the blobs really stand out better, but it's still monochromatic. And as you can see, I've included Angry Lemon's butt leaf. Um, that was a recent addition and it's stuck. So there he is and I'm gonna sing. <clears throat> He's an angry lemon. He's an angry lemon. <laughs> I doubt anyone likes that stupid song besides me. All right, next. Who do we have for this one? Ah, the pizza fellow. I actually love this little guy eating pizza, but I've never made him again outside of, you know, his original creation. So I'm so happy to have an excuse to create him again. And this time he looks a little bit different. He grew arms. I did my box of blobs design before I was adding blob arms and legs. My blobs have just grown limbs since then. <laughs> We've come so far. Hi, I, I'm back in your face again. I have one more quick interruption. Don't worry, we will finish painting these shoes. I just have so many things to tell you today. The day this video is getting posted is Black Friday. We are bringing back a very small amount of inventory left over from some limited time products that were in my store at one point and got sold out and have not been back. First thing, the Rubik's Cube. It sits right there. It's a very special item. It is one of my favorite things that I've ever launched. There are just a few remaining and we are putting them in the store for Black Friday. Other thing that we're bringing back is the first edition Pickle Plush. Now we have the newer version of the Pickle Plush live on the store, but way, 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 way back when I first released Pickle, dun -dun 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 -dun. he was a slightly different version than he is now. This is such a special product in my mind because it is one of the first custom products that I ever released. It was just like such an exciting time. 
time. And we've stopped selling the first edition for a long time, but we just have a few left. These are very, very rare at this point, and they will never, ever be coming back into production. They have completely stopped. Also, I have hand signed five of these plushes. Any customer who purchases any item during the Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend will be automatically entered to potentially win one of the hand signed pickle plushes. We are also launching two t-shirt designs that are going to be limited to the Black Friday weekend only. These are brand new designs, never been seen before, and they will go completely away after Cyber Monday is over. That's it. Now, let's finish up these shoes. And next, this is who I'm gonna, oh, pooped clean that up. This girl, who remembers her? She is a drama queen, this one. I feel like the obvious choice for the blue shoe is the blob who started it all, which he doesn't really have a name, Blob OG. He's often compared to Cousin Derp because they're both blue and they both carry around hamburgers. They are virtually the same. How did that happen? But like I said, I really wanted to take an opportunity to give attention to the less popular blobs because they deserve love too. And it's hard being a blob, putting the finishing touch on that one. Oh, I love you. Next, it's the last shoe, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it, and I had to do the giant sleeping plum. One, because I love that guy. Two, I actually didn't really have many purple blobs to choose from. <gasps> fish blob. How would I forget about fish blob? Well, you know, fish blob gets enough attention, okay? Look at this beautiful portrait of her. She's on a shirt. Let's give some attention to the plum. And there he is. Are you ready? We have the full range bow of blob shoes. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them all. Are you looking? They seriously look so amazing all together. I want to eat them. So of course I have created three original pairs in order of the rainbow. That's cool. But you can mix them up. You could do pink and green, watermelon vibes, yellow and orange, angry wonder, blue and orange, sad wonder, yellow and green. Oh, that's very yin yang because the leaf and the pizza and the yellow green. Yeah. Yellow and purple. Oh, the fruits are together. Pink and purple. Um, aw. <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say about that one. Blue and purple. Closed eye squad. Also leaves. Blue and green. Open mouths. Pink and orange. I feel a spark. They're a couple for sure. Yeah. Basically, my point is you can mix up the shoes. I think it's a really fun way to paint shoes. I liked it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>